Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee and Cartridges. Hope you're having a great day. We're drinking some Folgers Black Silk Coffee today, and we're gonna talk about rifle cartridges. Stay tuned. So in the last few months, um, ever since I got to 500 subscribers, and you can do community posts, I've been asking you guys what your favorite rifle cartridge is in a particular caliber. Now I've not done all the calibers. Uh, I've only done three or four, but I just wanted to give the results here. So two months ago, I said, what's your favorite 6.5 millimeter cartridge? And the winner was the 6.5 Creedmoor. It got 34% of the vote. 260, 6.5 Swede, and the 6.5 PRC all tied for second with 17%. And then dead last was my 6.5 284 Nomura at 14%, which was very sad. No, that's fine. No surprise there, the Creedmoor is the most popular. Four weeks ago, I asked you guys, what is your favorite 30 caliber rifle cartridge? This one was an interesting poll to watch. At one point, it was like a four-way tie. <laughs> and then for a long time, the 30-06 was ahead. And then for a long time, it was just a dead heat between it and the 308. But final results, 308 won at 35%. 30-06 came in second at 31%. 300 Winchester Magnum was third at 13%. 300 Winchester Short Magnum was fourth at 12%, basically the same. And then last was a 300 Weatherby Magnum at 9%. Then I ask you, what is your favorite 27 caliber rifle cartridge? And no surprise, 270 Winchester won with 61% of the vote. I was a little bit surprised about this, but the 270 WSM got 19% in second place. 6.8 Western, I kind of thought it might, because it's so new, might jump ahead, but it was only 8%. 27 Nossler, 8%, and the 6.8 6 .8 SPC, 2%. And then I said, what is your favorite seven millimeter rifle cartridge? I asked you guys this two weeks ago. This got the most votes of any poll, and the winner was, 7mm Remington Magnum, 35%. 7mm 08 was second at 25%. 7mm PRC actually was third, even though it just came out at 24%. 280 Ackley Improved was next at 13%. And then 28 Nossler got 3%. Like I said, I didn't ask you about several other calibers like 22 caliber, 25 caliber, um, 6mm which I know the answer to the six millimeter would be the 243. More than likely, the 25 caliber would, it would probably be the 25 out six. Maybe the 257 Weatherby, but more than likely the 25 out six. 22 caliber, pretty sure it'd be the 223 slash 556. I'd say if I did it for the 338, very good chance it'd be the 338 Winchester Magnum. And any bigger than that, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I'm, I might do one in the 45 caliber. That, that could be an interesting poll to do. Anyway, I just want to talk to you about the polls uh, and then just talk to you guys a little bit about like what makes a good rifle cartridge. You know, why do people pick the cartridges that they pick? You know, there's a list of things that we generally look at as to why we pick a favorite cartridge. Uh, I'd say number one, beyond all the rest, is personal experience. You know, if if our dad or grand or grandpa or both shot a 270 Winchester and they passed it down to us and that's what we shoot, you know, more than likely that's going to be our favorite cartridge. If you have per, a lot of personal experience with a 280 Ackley Improved, you're going to pick that one. So most of the time, the cartridge that's your favorite is the one you have the most nostalgia or just experience with, which by the way, makes a lot of sense. Why would you pick cartridges? that you don't know anything about or have never fired, of course you're gonna pick the one that you know the most about. So very common and very logical way to think about it. If you get beyond that and you just think more about the potential of the cartridge, which a lot of my rifle cartridge re reviews is the potential. Um, I don't own every single cartridge that I've done a review on. I, I've owned most of them though. Owned them or owned them in the past, but not all of them um, because it's, a, it's a review of the cartridge and the potential of the cartridge, not how a particular rifle is going to shoot it. 
But um, when you get past just your personal experience and you look at just kind of the potential of the cartridge. Now, in all honesty, that's coming from two factors. One, it's on paper, right? You pick up a reloading manual like this. In all honesty, it's a good idea to look at multiple reloading manuals. Um, I like Hornady bullets, Hornady cartridges. Um, I will tell you if you pull up the Hornady reloading manual and you compare like the 6.5 Creedmoor to the 6.5284, it's obvious that they're overrating the 6.5 Creedmoor as far as how much velocity that they're going to get out of it um, because it's their own cartridge. So just be aware of that. You might need to look at multiple manuals to get a, a better, you know, unbiased look at what a cartridge is, is actually going to do. There's plenty of reloading forums out there where people are discussing it and talking about it. You can even go to the SAMI website and look at the dimensions. You know, I probably nerd out more about dimensions than I should. I nitpick about belts and I talk more about shoulder angles than are really necessary, but it's, it's just me. It's just the things that I like to think about and look at. But there's a lot of way to re a lot of ways to research it. Um, and eventually you'll get what you consider to be on paper. This looks pretty darn good. And so you can make a decision based on that. The other way to make a decision just from research, not with a cartridge that you've not shot would be just to ask other people. You know, if, if you've never shot a 30 six and you want to know kind of a, some, some good recipes for reloading or, or how it would act on certain game or whatever the case, there's, a million people out there that can tell you their experience with the 30-06 and game that they've used it with and how their hand loading results have been so on and so forth so you can look at published data you can do your own research and you can just ask people and so don't just go to one website or one forum go to many get many people's interpretation of something and eventually you'll come upon a consensus you know generally speaking the consensus is this. There's always going to be a person that absolutely hates a cartridge and it really, it's pretty hard to understand why. One, they just, their, their hatred for a particular cartridge is because they love another cartridge and they feel like they're in competition or they just, I don't know, <laughs> having a, a bad day and they just want to be negative. And then you've got somebody who's a, a super fanboy who just loves a particular cartridge and maybe overrates it, whatever the case. But generally, if you look at enough opinions and get enough perspectives and get enough people sharing their experience, you're going to get the, the overall consensus. And usually it's, it's in the middle. So your nostalgia and personal experience is one reason you're going to pick a favorite rifle cartridge. The number one reason next just your personal research and, uh, just looking at the evidence out there. Another really common one is going to be availability. So <clears throat> I might like a 6.5284, a 280 Ackley Improved. Some of these cartridges, they are, t they are SAMI spec, they are standardized. You can get them, but they're not common. Um, and so people would hate cartridges like that because they don't want a cartridge they have to hand load for. Not everybody hand loads. And so if you're not a hand loader and you want to go to the nearest, you know, retail gun shop or pawn shop or whatever and find, and, or Walmart and find ammo cheap enough, then you obviously want something that's very common. So to someone who doesn't hand load and who's looking for availability, they're going to hate the the kind of more obscure or niche cartridges and they're going to like the more common cartridges nothing wrong with that it makes perfect sense which once again is a big reason why your very common cartridges like 243 270 65 creedmoor 7 mag these cartridges 308 are usually going to win any kind of poll because they're common people can get their hands on them and the more people have their hands on something, the more fans that you're going to get of them. 
It would be like if there was a movie playing in every theater in the world, you're going to get more people viewing it than if there was a, a really obscure independent film that was only in 23 theaters. No one even knows about it. So then if you do a poll later, which is your favorite of these two movies? Of course, the more common, more populous, you know, um, mainstream movie is going to win. It's, it's no different with rifle cartridges. So the ones that have had the most success are going to be looked at as the most popular. And it's like a chicken and the egg thing. It's, it became popular there. And then because it's popular, it's common and it just cycles it out. Now, some people are more about target shooting. And so, you know, how f the extreme velocity that you can squeeze out of a case means nothing to them. They're looking for other attributes of that cartridge. They're looking for other things in mind. They have a different application and they're looking for different traits. And so it's more about consistency and a bunch of other stuff. So, you know, a seven mag is not a long range, you know, F class cartridge. It's just not, it's not made for that. A 270 Winchester is just not made for that. It's made for hunting. Um, a six millimeter Creedmoor will be a great cartridge for long range target shooting. So if you're a long range target shooter, you're going to have a certain type of cartridge that you're looking for. And then of course, the most obvious one is if you're a hunter, I think most people that watch my videos are hunters. Um, you know, you're thinking about killing the animal and you hope you can do it at a very short distance, but maybe you got to reach out there at three or 400 yards. And depending on a lot of factors, not just the cartridge, but the type of bullet, the construction of the bullet, but you got to make sure you have enough velocity, which will translate into energy and all that to, you know, take the animal down ethically at maybe, you know, three or 400 yards. So you're not looking for a, you're not looking for an anemic cartridge. You know, that's why a lot of hunters don't really care much for the six, five Creedmoor because it's not doing anything that much better or greater than what a 260 or a, even a 65 um, Swede done back in 1892. It's around the same velocity. So to a hunter, it's the 65 Creedmoor is just overhyped and they don't care about it because they hunt and it's like, why on earth would I care anything about this new cartridge that's not doing anything different except for maybe a few modern touches and a faster twist rate, but it's not anything different than what's been out there for over a hundred years. So, you know, there's a lot of people that don't like it. However, like the poll said, it's very popular. Um, if you're a target shooter, it's a, it's a great round. And, and you know, with that faster twist rate and the bullet designed around accuracy at long range, it's going to be a great thousand yard target round. And it is, it is common and popular for hunting as well. Just think of it like a 243. Why do people like a 243? It has mild recoil. And so a 6.5 Creedmoor has mild recoil. You can carry a lightweight rifle with mild recoil and it can do the job. So there's just different ways of looking at it. But that's kind of the, the main things that people are going to think about when discussing what their favorite rifle cartridge is. Now, there's always a question of should we care about rifle cartridges? Should we argue about rifle cartridges? Or should we just not worry about it? Is it a big nothing burger? <laughs> now, we obviously shouldn't argue. We should be civil. But in my opinion, it's fun to talk about. Like, I love to hear people explain why they like one cartridge over another cartridge. Now, it can get old if you're just saying the same thing all the time. So, gets to a point where you said all you've got to say and you just move on. But arguing, no, I don't want to argue. Talking about it, it's very fun to me. I've made a lot, probably a hundred videos about talking about rifle cartridges. So it's kind of a, a niche nerdy thing to talk about when it comes to ballistics, but it's fascinating to me. I watch a lot of hunting shows where they, the guy, the guy never even talks about the cartridges that he's using. And I get it that they're more focused on the hunt and that it's more the experience and it's more the, the animal, it's more the location and all that's cool. But man, I want to know what cartridge it was. Um, 
And a lot of times they don't even say what the rifle is. I, I want to know what the rifle is. And then I want to know what the cartridge is, especially at the point where they've just shot it. At that point would be a good time to say, this animal was shot with a 30 out 6 Because you, you've just seen, you know, the cartridge in action. And I, and I want to know what cartridge in action I just saw. and Because I, I just saw whether it did a good job or it didn't do, do a good job. And I know there's more information. You need to know the, the bullet that was used and all that. But I kind of want to know that stuff. Some people just don't care about cartridges. I like to talk about it. I like to know what people's favorite cartridges are. You definitely have a crowd that anything new comes out, they hate it immediately. It's like, why, why would I want a 7 PRC when I have a 7 mag? The 7 mag's been working for me my entire life. That's a logical thing to think. Um, you know, and then you got some people that only want new cartridges. It's like, why would you even want an old cartridge? There's something in their minds that's better, that's newer, that's replaced it. And of course the answer is there is no right or wrong. You know, it's a subjective thing. Everyone's going to look at it from a different point of view, from a different angle for the reasons I've already talked about, but it's fun. <laughs> I tend to look at cartridge design probably more than I should. It's fun to me to just really get into the specifics of the cartridge case, see how it was designed, see the philosophy behind it. Um, I do like a lot of the new Hornady cartridges, especially the PRC cases. They just seem, I really like the design philosophy. When you start to get into the cartridge dimensions and the, and the design, you can get nitpicky and I'm guilty of that where I just don't like a belt. <laughs> I get why the 375 H&H &H had a belt. I get why the 300 H&H &H had a belt. I've got no issues with any cartridge that has a belt. It's fine. There's some of the greatest cartridges of all time have a belt, but it's just a nitpicky thing. I just think, ah, it doesn't need to have a belt. <laughs> it's not head spacing off of that belt. Sometimes I look at a cartridge and I look at the extreme body taper and it drives me crazy. I'm like, why does it have that much body taper? Other times, I understand why it has the body taper because they're more concerned with the cartridge feeding properly and smoothly than they are with eking out, you know, five extra grains of powder. So I'm just going to throw out some opinions here to kind of close this out. But if you've watched my channel, then you know, I, I'm a huge fan of the 30 out six, a huge fan of the 308. Um, I love the 65284. I don't mind the Creedmoor or the PRC, but I just fancy the 65284. I think it's the perfect combination, the perfect mix there. And the case itself is really cool. I like the 243. Um, I like some other six millimeters that I don't actually own, but I would like to own at some point. I think the six millimeter Remington is really cool. And I'm a big fan on paper of the six, mil the six millimeter Creedmoor. It seems like a really cool round, but I love the 243. I like the 22 250. Um, here recently, I've really started to get into the 270 short mag. So here's my first controversial opinion. I prefer the 270 short mag over the 270 Winchester. I don't have a ton of experience. I did own a 270 at one time, but I don't have a ton of experience with it. It's a phenomenal cartridge. There is, it's one of the greatest cartridges of all time. So I'm in no way am I saying it's a bad cartridge, but I just think I just prefer the 270 short mag. To me, it's it's everything the 270 does with a little bit more horsepower. And what makes a 270 so good is it's it it doesn't have a ton of power, but it's it definitely has some. It's it's not anemic. It's got plenty of energy and plenty of velocity, but yet it's it's flat shooting, and it's it's a very good cartridge for a little bit longer range. I've always said my preferred whitetail deer cartridge is a 308, but you get out there a little bit, a 270 would be more of the ideal whitetail deer cartridge. It's just flatter shooting, but yet it still has plenty of velocity and, and energy with low recoil. It's, it's a heck of a round. Well, in my opinion, the 270 short mag is just everything that the 270 is with a little bit more. Now you might say, I don't need more. Fantastic. These are just my opinions. I just, I prefer the 270 short mag. Now let's compare it to the 6.8 Western. 
if I wanted to shoot a heavier bullet, then obviously the 6.8 Western is, is better, you know, but man, if, if I'm only going to shoot 130, 150 grain bullet, I honestly think the 270 short mag is better because it has more case capacity. You can actually get it going a little faster, but I'm just a big fan of the 270 WSM. When it comes to the 30 caliber, you know, I have a ton of personal experience with the 30 got six and the 308, two of my favorite cartridges of all time on paper though, for hunting, man, that 300 short mag just jumps out to me. And I prefer it over the 300 Winchester Magnum. I know I've made some more people mad. <laughs> I guess this video is just going to make everybody mad, but in all honesty, it shouldn't, it shouldn't make anybody mad. It's just my opinion. I think the 300 Winchester Magnum is phenomenal. I think the 270 Winchester is phenomenal. I just prefer the short mag case. I just, I, I just like it better. I like the efficiency of it. And I just think it, you get a lot more out of less. So I'm, I'm a big fan. Now there, I guess I should correct that. There is more powder in the 270 WSM than in the two, in the normal 270. But with a 300 WSM, you have less powder and you're getting pretty much the same velocity. So I just, my three favorite 30 calibers is definitely in no particular order, but 30 out six, three away and 300 WSM. That's just my favorite. You can go bigger. You can go much bigger. I personally have no need to do that. Um, so, you know, the 300 Winchester Magnum, the 300 Weatherby Magnum are fantastic and they're cool. And there could come a day where I do get to travel around and maybe hunt something that I think I need a little bit more powder than what that 300 WSM has, but I just don't, I just don't see it. So I'm a big fan of the 300 WSM. Now me personally, since I live in Missouri, I've never hunted elk and I've never, you know, we don't have moose around here. So there's just no reason for around here to have anything bigger than like say a 30 caliber. There just is no reason unless you're getting something like a 350 legend or a, a 45 70, that's something you're going to be shooting at, at short range is a 450 Bushmaster. But as far as a big Magnum in something bigger than 30 caliber, I just, there's no point. So I just don't ever focus on those bigger calibers. You know, if I lived in Alaska, it'd be different. Um, if I wanted to hunt dangerous game in Africa, it'd be, it'd be a lot different. So I just never really go beyond 30 caliber. I just, it's not my cup of tea. It's fun to talk about it on the channel. It's fun to do videos about it, but my personal favorites, I just don't tend to focus much more on 30 caliber. And then the caliber I've danced around kind of is the old seven millimeter, which I don't have the most nostalgia for. I've got way more nostalgia. For 30 calibers. Um, my favorite cartridge of all time, the 65284. I'm a big fan of that caliber. Obviously, I like 243 and 22 250. I actually have the least experience with 7 millimeter. But just looking at the numbers and, and starting a YouTube channel, I've become I've decided that it's the best all-around caliber. And some of what I consider from anecdotal evidence, just from hearing people's you know, experience from looking at reloading manuals, from, from watching hunts, from doing the research. I just think it's the best overall caliber for, unless you're talking about something like, like, like dangerous game, it's just as versatile as a 30 caliber, uh, with, with less recoil. And there is some phenomenal cartridges in that caliber. I think of the 284 Winchester. I wish it would make a comeback, but there's nothing wrong with the 280. If you like the 270, you have to like the 280. I don't know how you wouldn't. I have a huge respect for the 280 Ackley Improved. I think it's phenomenal. The seven millimeter odd eight is so cool. So cool. Such an efficient, awesome cartridge. Seven millimeter Remington Magnum. I did have one for a while. Um, don't have one now. Didn't shoot it a ton, but I, but I did own one. It's not my favorite, but my gosh, is it a cool, cool cartridge and how many, how much game throughout the world has been taken down with the seven mag. It's crazy. You know, if you, and this new seven millimeter PRC looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to get one, but I, I don't know. It's, it's, it is possible, but I don't think I'm going to get one. Um, 
I prefer the efficiency of the 7mm 08 or the 280 actually improved a little better. But if I wanted just a little bit more powder, something more on the level of the 7 mag, without going to the extreme of the 28 Nossler, if it was down to me, I'm gonna, here's, my, here's my third trip of making people mad. If I was going to pick a 7 PRC versus a 7 mag, I'd probably go with 7 PRC. It's just it's a more efficient, modernized version. It's not going to do anything better. 7 mag is already doing it. I just like the design of the case better. <laughs> and it'd be fun to shoot it a, a thousand yards. And it would be more suitable for that than would the 7 mag, but you could still hunt with it for sure. So I've threw a lot of opinions out there. Just to recap, currently my favorite 22 caliber is a 22 250. My favorite 24 caliber is the 243, and I would give honorable an honorable mention to the six millimeter Creedmoor. I would love to get one of those. Comes to the 6.5 millimeter, number one, 6.5 284. Number two, I would say 6.5 PRC. But man, there's a lot. The 260 is cool. The 6.5 Swede is cool. There's some awesome 6.5 millimeters out there. The 264 Winchester Magnum, man, that thing's awesome. 26 Nosler, I, I could go on and on. There's some really cool ones. When it gets up to the 27 caliber, or the 6.8, and by the way, it's basically seven millimeter. Just look at the conversion of inches to metrics and you'll realize that 277 in inches basically is seven millimeter. <laughs> It's so close to an actual seven millimeter, which in metrics actually it's more than seven millimeter. And I digress. My favorite 270 cartridge is 270 WSM. I definitely see the draw and of the 6.8 Western and it, and it could be cool in the right thing. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the 270, just standard Winchester, it's amazing. Seven millimeter, what's my favorite? Oh man. <laughs> It's a tough one. As of now, I'm leaning toward the 280 Ackley Improved with the 7mm 08 just right behind it. And if the 284 ever got reintroduced and became real popular again in hunting and um, companies were chambering for it, it could be the 284. All, one of those three is right there. At the moment, the 280 Ackley Improved, 7mm 08, 284. That's just my personal favorites. And 30 caliber, I've, I've already told you. 30 got six, just above 308, just above 300 short mag. But that is some of my favorites. So just to tell you, based on the things I said at the beginning, availability is not a big deal to me because I, I, I hand load and I want to get into hand loading. And I assume when I buy a cartridge that I'm going to get the components and hand load for it. So. You know, because a 7 mag or 270 is very available and very common, that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. My, the, the nostalgia part does play into it for me, but in all honesty, I like to try new things. So just because the 30 6 or the 308 has worked for me doesn't mean that's all I want to focus on. I don't want to just shoot the same cartridges the rest of my life. So I don't focus on nostalgia as much as some people do because I want to try new things. Am I more about hunting or target shooting? I would say both. I don't pick one over the other. If I had to pick one, it'd be the, the hunting side of it. It would be more what I'm focused on. But I like to think about just target shooting too. It's fun. I think the thing that makes me pick a cartridge overall is the cartridge design. If I see design cues and I see things within that design philosophy that I think are dumb <laughs> or antiquated or just not necessary, it, it causes me to want to move on. And, and when I say cartridge design, it's the cartridge, the chamber, the twist rate, just the whole, the whole rig, the whole setup, the whole mindset behind it. So that's just some things that I look at. So I don't know. I just like drinking coffee, talking to you guys about rifle cartridges. Is it fun for you to talk about your favorites? Um, does it, cause you to end up getting in fights with people? I sure hope not. Um, or are you one of those people that just couldn't care less about rifle cartridges? Probably not. You probably aren't watching this video if you're that person. And then I'd love to know what, what your favorites are. From 22 up to 30 caliber, what's your favorite 
cartridge for whatever reason in all those calibers. Um, I'd like to hear from you. Um, hopefully we can get some interesting comments going. If you enjoyed talking to you, have a great day. And until next time, take care.